sé que era feliz. Yo también. ¿Por qué no duermes con la mamá en la casa? No, no puedo explicarte lo que Sabes que te quiero mucho. Te vas igual, pero... Y no se ve a poco. Y hablamos eso. ¿Se fueron sin avisarte? Sí, se parece. Back to Scott Todd, everybody. This is a uh, Cosh Potato movie review number 10. The movie is in the grayscale, or you can just call it grayscale. Ah, this is a beautiful, beautiful, sh beautifully shot movie. The setting is Santiago, Chile which is on my bucket list of places that I would like to go or at least live for a year. It's a beautiful city, and I really enjoyed this movie. I've watched it three times. The only reason I'm reviewing it right now, even though this movie is a little older, is because I watched it last night, and I don't think enough people know about it. I found it on Netflix, and uh, it tells the story of Bruno, who is coming to terms with his sexuality Late in life, he's a successful architect, he's married, he has a son, but when we come into the movie, he's separated from his wife and is living like in a little artist shack somewhere while he's trying to figure out everything he's going through and who is he? And... uh he goes for an interview for a new project for the city of Santiago. And the guy who's hiring him, the construction business owner who's hiring Bruno, sets him up with a tour guide to show him all around Santiago and just to give him the city's history and to get an edge on what Santiago means to the person who's been there their entire life. And this guy's name is Fair, which I believe might be show for Fernando or something like that. I can't remember right now, but his name is Fair. So it's Bruno, who's the architect, and Fair, who's the tour guy. Well, Fair is gay, and there's an immediate kind of a attraction between Bruno and Fair. But Bruno is very, um, I would say, straight acting, and he tries to, um, he tries to like block all of that off. But he eventually wins. <laughs> Fairy eventually wins him over, and Bruno becomes more and more intrigued by him, and they spend more and more time together, and personal time, and hanging out, and. And you get to see someone be free for the first time in their life. And it's scary for him. For Bruno, it's very scary because he understands what he has to give up in order to have this new piece to his puzzle. And he's not really sure how he can do that. And for Fair, 
he understands how difficult it is to fall in love with someone who doesn't uh, recognize themselves as gay because there's too much of a gray area between is he, isn't he, will he, won't he. And you get to see that fight that happens inside a person who's really struggling with their truth. And I, I'm, I didn't have to go through that when it was my turn to come out or just me discovering who I was. I never had that battle. It was just like, oop, boop, I'm out, let's go, full steam ahead. But for someone who has always felt that they were gay or felt that they were bicurious or different to marry and have this straight life with a family for so long. And like I always tell my friends and my my duties, when the pole calls, the pole calls. And the pole, meaning the peen, um, is calling. And, and Bruno wants to be free. He wants to explore. He wants to experience. He wants to be. He just wants to be. And fair is his vessel that allows him to do that. And then truth comes rolling back onto Bruno and he has to uh, back paddle. And you see that struggle, that fight, that, that juxtaposition of someone who's so free over here and so constrained and afraid of what people have to say about him over here and how he has to be stuck in between these two fights. And you feel very bad for him. You, you feel torn because you, you know that he really wants to be with this guy, but everything in him and his programming and his life is telling him that he can't do it or that it's going to be wrong or that everything's going to fall apart if he gets to see himself in the mirror. Um, it is all in Spanish. There are English subtitles. I, I needed the subtitles because my Spanish is not that great. It's not good at all, actually. Um... But give this movie a try. Uh, if you're looking for any gay movies and you don't have a lot of them in your repertoire, but you would like to see more, I'm going to be making a whole new uh, section for the Couch Potato Movie Review that is just gay movies because I watch them all the time and I really enjoy seeing our lives spelled out in film. Um, subscribe, and I have already placed one that's uh, called Love, spelled L-O-E-V. I'll be doing a couple more over the next couple of days because I realize that there's not a lot of people who do gay movie reviews, and I want everybody to be able to find something that they enjoy. I probably won't watch a lot of lesbian movies, though. I'm sorry. That's really not my cup of tea, but uh, the guy on guy films, non-porn, I will be reviewing so that everybody can get a chance to see, you know, different sides of our stories. Um, give In the Grayscale an opportunity to just open you up to something different. A lot of these movies you have to watch that are made overseas because we don't get that many of them here in this country. But they're still just as poignant and still just as beautiful. OK, um, two thumbs way up. I really enjoyed it. I've watched it three times now. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it too. Give it a try.